Students of this Magdishu-based school for visually impaired are among thousands expected to benefit from a tech-based initiative to improve access to education. Special needs students are CSAD. Such programs will enhance learning outcomes. I've completed primary school and hope to continue into high school, but we lack essential tools like Braille-compatible tablets, which are common for students elsewhere in the world. With no unified national curriculum yet for special needs students in the country, the principal of this school hopes the program could also help establish a standard framework. The United Nations in Somalia data shows that about 360,000 Somalis are visually impaired and there are only four schools that teach Braille in Mogadishu. It's vital to have a unified national curriculum for special needs learners, including those with visual impairments. Right now there is no standardized Braille syllabus. Save the Children has joined efforts with the government and telecommunication firm Hormud to use mobile technology to improve access and bring digital literacy closer to vulnerable children. The agreement also includes the real-time information sharing during crises, such as floods and droughts. This partnership is rooted in cooperation and the strategic use of technology to uplift Somali children in education. Government officials have welcomed the move especially the provision of internet access to public schools to support e-learning. This initiative has both positive and negative sides. While smart tablets improve learning, they also risk exposing children to harmful online content like internet games. According to UNICEF, over 3 million Somali children are out of schools due to conflict, poverty and displacement. Initiatives like these are expected to help improve enrollment rates. Hamid Kahir, Africa Matters, Mogadishu, Somalia.